Hey, it's around here. This video, I'm going to show you how to set up the custom domain with system. So a custom domain is what you see right here, website diycourse.com. Now, when you're first setting up a domain, you're going to need to enter the domain here and you can always right click this document and actually read through the details where it will explain to you what you need to do. Now, in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to do it. So you're going to type the domain here. So www.website or whatever the, the domain is. Okay. I'm not going to do it right now because I've already done it. Once you've done it, you click on show instructions. It will actually show you this automatically. And then you need to be logged in to your hosting provider. So depending on which one you're using, you want to go to, in this case, it's domain.com. You go to DNS name service and you go to DNS records. In other websites, it might be um, zone editor or uh, advanced zone editor, depending on what software you're using. So then what you want to do is you want to add what's called a C name. So you're going to click here on add record and then you're going to grab this and you're, you just need to do www in this case. You're going to make it C name and then you're going to collect this whole thing without the dot, without the dot. Don't grab the dot and paste this here. Make this one hour and then click on add DNS. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to add another record. And this one again will be a C name. Now this time you're going to grab this whole thing, but you're not going to grab from the dot onwards. Now, again, it depends on what software you're using, i.e. what hosting provider you're using. It might be a little bit different and might be a little bit hic hiccups, but because uh, the instruction is to grab the whole thing. But in my case with domain.com, you don't need the whole thing. So again, you grab this copy and you don't grab the dot. Then you paste this here, click on add DNS and it's been added. Now what you're going to do is you're simply going to, it's going to say pending validation and now it's a waiting game. So now what I would suggest is you usually go to the email and actually tell system IO and say, Hey, hello system support. I have now um, corrected and set up the DNS correctly. Please let me know if anything else is needed from my end. Also, do you install SSL? SSL is the security. Basically it does that little headlock on the top, like this thing right here, which basically says that the website is secure. Okay. So that's what this is asking. That's what SSL is. Now, what we can also do just to be on the safe side, we can go to what's called dnschecker.org uh, and then we're going to click here on this. We're going to click on C name and now we will do www.website DIY course. Now we'll do a search and you will see all the greens showing up. When you have the greens showing up, you know you've done it correctly. Now here's the deal. If I'm going to now delete the www and do a search, you will see it will show red. The reason that is, is because I have not done what's called a domain redirect. So let's go back to domain.com. What it simply means is I need to go to pointers and subdomains. And here I need to click on URL standard. And basically what I'm saying is that if somebody gets sent to this website to, to a, the, the, not the www, right? So if somebody goes to just website diycourse.com without the www, which most people will not type www, it will automatically go to the www. That's basically what I'm saying. Okay. So let's click here and do www. Now we'll see if that works. It might be that I need to do it a little bit different. I'm going to check it in a second and just double check. Okay. So I checked another domain that I set up with system and I did, I set it up this way. So now I'm just going to go back to website diycourse.com and I'm going to add this entire thing basically. So now I've got HTTPS, um, semicolon forward slash forward slash www dot and then domain name. Click on save. Now that I've done it, what should happen, and this might not be immediate, but it should basically make it 
and make it all in green. Again, this might not be immediate, so don't worry about it if it doesn't show yet. If you do www, you can see that it's in green, which means it's all good. And basically the servers around the world are starting to populate. It does take 24, 48 hours sometimes. Sometimes it could be just a couple of hours, but it's important to send this email to um, support and say, I have also checked with DNS Uh, checker and looks good good at my end I have also uh, done a redirect from the domain to the www full domain um, please let me know okay good so now I'm gonna set, click on send and then now it's just a waiting game so that's about it. That's the entire process, okay? Now, I know this is a lot of techie. You can go back, watch this again, or pause. That's okay. If you're using a different software like SiteGround or Namecheap or Bluehost or GoDaddy or whatever, if you're getting stuck, if you feel you need help, please just pay my team and me to just help you do it. It will probably save you a lot of time. We're really affordable. It's probably gonna be easier, okay? So if you're like, oh my God, you're getting nervous about doing all this and you wanna get help, please just, there'll be a button somewhere around here so you can actually just sign up to get our help one-on-one. -on -one. So we can just do it, it will take a few minutes and it will save you a lot of headaches and so on. So there you go, thanks a lot for watching. I'll speak to you soon, cheers.